I am from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I grew up in the capital city, Freetown. My family are Muslim and I went to a Catholic school. I also went to a Methodist school and that's where I became a Christian. Sierra Leone had a civil war that went on for over 11 years. I was kidnapped during the war for several months and being used as a sex slave and as a human shield. I came to Australia 2000 as a refugee to find a, a safe place and to rebuild my life. My story today is about an Australian friend that I've spent my first Christmas with and that I've continued for 12 years now. I met Rose at a function for United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee where I first told my story and she was part of the audience. Afterwards I went up and introduced myself and said would she be willing to have a cup of coffee with me if she felt comfortable to just share a bit about her story. From the very beginning, Rose and I clicked. We just had this really beautiful bond. She was really interested about refugee story from a woman's point of view. And we started having a conversation um, about an idea of me telling my story if I was willing to. I was a theatre director at that stage and I wanted to make a piece of theatre about violence against women. So that's how the Bookham Hills African Ladies Troop started. Me, and it followed four women and the idea was to tell our story of trauma, but also of joy, of the real life experience of how we lived our life in Africa before we went through what we've gone through. I built a relationship and I knew she was alone in Australia and I started taking her out to the theater and meeting her for coffee or dinner. And then eventually I thought, well, I bet, you know, she's Christian and I bet she's got nobody to share Christmas with. So I invited her to our Polish Christmas. And I just said yes, and without knowing what really um, the Christmas celebration was gonna be about. I'm actually Jewish and I, I didn't ever grow up with having Christmas. But I did grow up with a sense of empathy for refugees in particular because my grandmother, God bless her, um, she had 11 siblings and, and they all perished in the concentration camps. Yeah. Christmas was very important. Apart from its religious significance, it's also very much a coming together of the whole family. When I met Aminata, it really reminded me of my own experience and my family. We are Polish refugees. We arrived here in 1950 when I was 18 months old. You got the big one, that's Sherry. My husband was a very devoted son and he wanted to please his parents and make a tree as splendid as the pine trees that they had back in Poland. But sadly, there were no Christmas trees that were good enough here. I've got this new method in worldwide patents on it. He usually bought two trees and he severed branches off the second one and connected them with wire and he built extra branches onto the original tree until he created the perfect shape, which was good enough to put live candles on it. And it ended up turning really a beautiful experience. <laughs> Rose is Jewish and Joe is Catholic and then coming to um, Joe's mom's house, who was, I think, 99 years old or 100 years old, and seeing the mixture of these traditions. The Muslims wouldn't have Christmas, do you? No, you celebrate. Everybody <laughs> celebrates, yeah. yeah. Everyone, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking, because your, so your family celebrates. Yeah, we all celebrate, yeah. 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 At the dinner table, all the food was completely new to me. Nothing I saw what, that I've ever seen before. One thing that I took notice of and I was so excited about was this beautiful steam fish. And there was some little, it almost looked like a caviar, but little seeds, a black, it was really dark. But a very special part of, at the end of the meal is muck. It's actually the Polish word for poppy seed, but you soak them overnight and then you grind them through a special grinder twice over. It's really hard work. Too. So now I have fallen in love with a beautiful, kind man, Antoine, and we live in Sydney with two children, Serafina and Matisse, the kindest people on earth. 
<laughs> and one thing that I've built from Rose and Joe, we see them as family and they see us as family. Christmas time, we know that we have to be at their house. We celebrate Christmas together, which unites us as a family even more.